Hello and welcome to Brian's Truck Report with me, Brian Weatherly, UK jury member for International Truck of the Year. Now I've come to a rather slippery and snowy Sweden to celebrate 25 years of Volvo's mighty 16 litre engine in a real heritage haulage challenge and I'm going to be doing it with these two trucks past and present. The original big banger from Gothenburg, the F16 470 and with this truck, the world's most powerful series production tractor, the F816 750. Now I'm not going to be doing it all on my own, I'm going to be joined by my old mate and truck driving colleague, Volvo's press desk manager, Jeff Bird, and a guy who's been around in Volvo, well, for as long as the 60 litre. Jeff, Hello, good Brian. morning. <laughs> Today's test is a hill climbing challenge. Both trucks must conquer one of Sweden's toughest gradients, known as the Gothenburg Hill, located just outside of Jönköping. With its 7% gradient, it's infamous among Swedish truck drivers for being especially tough. But before we tackle the hill, let's first grab a piece of nostalgia with the classic F16 470. Well, I've got to say, Jeff, this is a real trip down memory lane for me. It's uh, a good 20 years since I was in an F16 470, but the memories certainly come flooding back. I'd forgotten just how much talk there was on this engine, even at 470 horsepower. I don't want to be impolite by reminding you of just how long you've been at Volvo, but you were certainly at the original F16 470 launch. It must have been a tremendous atmosphere. What, what was it like on the day? Yeah, the reaction was fantastic. There was many of our customers and operators uh, told us that, why do you need so much performance? Why do you need so much power? Who's going to use that? But of course, there was also many who couldn't wait to drive the mighty F16 470. The rules of the hill climb are simple. Both trucks are loaded to 40 tonnes. The clock starts running as we pass under the first bridge at the bottom of the hill at a speed of 80 kilometres an hour. And it stops as we pass the number 101 exit sign just as the hill is beginning to level out. A total climb of 2.2 kilometres. National speed limit on this road is 80 kilometres an hour. Okay. So we can take it up to 80 and then just hold it there in uh, six high, top gear. We're just coming to the start of the hill climb. So we'll start the time at this bridge, and we're off. Got well, plenty of power there. But I think I may even be tempted to take a split. Yeah, nice in the green band. One well, thing you do notice about this, Volvo was one of the first truck manufacturers to actually tell drivers that there was a green band to go for. And it says in there the word, magic word, economy. I must say, there's plenty of life in the old girl. Yeah, this is uh, this is hill climbing. <laughs> Reminds me of what it was like in the olden days hill climbing. I'm most impressed by the acceleration left in this engine. I mean, it's done over a million miles, but it's very lively. And we're going to take a hill climb end time just at this sign. OK. And we're coming up to 2 minutes 58 seconds. That's very respectable for a 25-year-old. <laughs> 25 years of progress. 280 more horsepower. But before we attack the Gothenburg Hill with this beast, I just want to feel what 25 years of truck engineering has achieved. Finally, I managed to get into the FH16 750. Well, you certainly notice that you're in a modern day truck, a state of the art truck too. How do you feel about the gear changing, Brian? Are you missing it? Frankly, Jeff, no. <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing about iShift is, is that the throttle is very sensitive to your foot so you're always making sure you're in the right gear and driving for economy you don't have to put your foot hard down on i shift for it to understand what it is you want from it and that makes it an absolute pleasure to drive okay jeff here's our timing bridge we'll now see the difference between 25 years past and present I'm ready with the stopwatch, Brian. And away we go. Well, the first thing I notice, Jeff, is I'm accelerating up the hill uh, and I'm going to be on the limiter. So uh, that's a pretty impressive performance. It's a little different from the F16 Forza. Well, it is. It is. We're overtaking a few uh, trucks, uh, including a Volvo 420, although I suspect he's travelling with a little bit more weight than we've got, Jeff. Probably maybe 50, 60 tonnes in Sweden. He's running at 60 tonnes, yeah. 
That's to me the most impressive thing about the current 16 litre engine in FH16 is not that it's got 60% more power, it's not that it's got 76% more torque, is that it's cleaner, greener and leaner than ever before. So Volvo's diesel engineers have done a fantastic job, particularly with regard to the environment. That's the top of the hill claim, Brian. We'll stop the watch, one minute, 57 seconds. Now that's impressive. Well, I don't know about you, but it's brought back some fantastic memories for me, seeing the old and the new together. Geoffrey, thank you very much for the ultimate Heritage Haulage Challenge. It's just reminded me just how far we've come in 25 years of Volvo's mighty 60-litre engine. So thank you very much for that. It's been a real blast. I really have enjoyed it. Brian, it's been an absolute pleasure. And next time, we're going to have a really interesting challenge for you. Well, that sounds interesting. Well, don't forget to join me next time on Brian's Truck Report. But until then, enjoy your truck driving.